Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Herrera here. I hope that you're all well. Today, I am continuing my super junior journey. This is a very, very long reaction video, okay? And it's only because a lot of you have been recommending various different performances, live performances, and saying that really the best way to enjoy their voices is to watch them live. Um, so in order to do that, in order to really get into the feel of it, I kind of need to have a look at lyric videos beforehand. And that's more because I really like to do that. I really like to get into the lyrics and to the meanings of songs and things like that, and especially ballads. And I feel like if that's where they're going to shine, I really want to be in it when I watch them. So I have actually written down because the order is quite long. So firstly, this is Memories. And then I'm going to go into Stars Up Here. And then I'll finally be able to watch the live performance, and I think it's from SS7, um, of One More Chance, Memories and Stars Appear. After that, I'm going to go, I think it's back to SS6, and it's Eveness, live performance again. Um, and then a live performance of This Is Love, and that's from SS7. And then I'm going to finally finish off with Ye Sung and his solo song Lost Heart. And I'm very, very excited to be on this journey. Yeah, let's begin. don't even know when to pause it or where to pause it like wow what a beautiful start like I don't even really know what to say I just think yeah like they've got so much emotion in their voices and this is really what I'm here for as much as I love all of the fun stuff this is what I am interested in and they are just delivering like wow No, I'm just not over that bit, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's that like instant sadness. He has that sort of a sound that it just sounds like he's crying. And I've been made fun of all of my life because all of my family always say that I just sound like my speaking voice is like I'm about to cry any second. I could just start crying. And that's how I sound. And that's the sense that I get from Ye Zung. And I feel like he has that sound that either he is crying or it, he can just cry at any moment. He has that intense sadness in his voice and like, yeah, just flips the song immediately. If the other members hadn't already set us up, he's just done it.
The thing with Kuhn's voice is, it takes me right back to the first time I ever heard his voice in Angel, and I'm just like, wow. I was blown away by his voice, and I just love it so much. He kind of is like the other end, I feel, of Ye Sang's voice. Like, they they just have this circle around them, those beautiful voices in the middle. The two of them come in, and they just like, I don't know, like put their arms around those voices and bring it all together. It's just so beautiful. And Eunhyuk you know, singing there as well, like, I love his singing voice. Maybe more than his rapping voice. the icing on the cake wasn't it you'd expect for a dark voice to come in there and kind of make it even sadder but what a beautiful thing to do to bring in such a light voice and actually like such an emotive voice as well like and I what I'm really loving about this song is the back and the forth it's the call and answer call and answer between the members and it's just so beautiful the way that you purposely break up a rhythm of a song um, and just make it so interesting <laughs> why does this not have a music video like really like that made me feel emotional already so goodness knows how i'll feel when i watch them perform that live interesting that just with that piece of music alone and I know that the uh, title list stars appear I kind of felt a little spacey a little like middle of the night kind of feeling <laughs>
is absolutely beautiful. Uh, can you see that I'm actually struggling to find a place to pause it, to even make a comment? Like, where do I begin? Like, beautiful voice after beautiful voice after, like, interesting voice, interesting phrasing interesting dynamic like they just don't have the same voice everyone has a different color a different flavor and it's so nice it's just like how does a group like this have ever actually even come together like with this many like amazing vocalists like I don't know too much about them so I can't even say whether anyone was a lead vocalist but I would say that I just can't see there being one person being a lead vocalist like I just feel like they all are able to to lead it's just crazy to have that many leading men in one group like it's actually a little bit like I feel like I don't know like on edge I don't even know what to expect if you see what I mean and also just commenting on the lyrics itself being a melody and the fact that anybody ever mentions melody in their song, it just brings such a smile to my face because I know that they're not even talking about that. But yeah, my B2B heart. <laughs> I actually really like that. That second verse was a lot more delicate than the first. Is it because they're unsure? gonna be so good live It's interesting because I feel like they're under singing the song. Um, sometimes in ballads, people will over sing because it's an opportunity. And I know it's not like that slow of a ballad. It's like a mid tempo y song. But sometimes a lot of groups will over sing it uh, to make a point to be like, listen to how good we are. Like, we know how good they are. I can already tell how good they are. But they're just not over singing it. And at times, like, especially with Lee Tuck, I found, and even with Shiwon. They're under singing it. And I don't know why that is. Is that kind of like to go with the flow of the song? Um, because they're all singing it in that way. Um, maybe as we get towards this last section, they'll pick it up a little bit. But it, it is going really nicely with the song. But it's just an interesting choice to make. Like with a group that has such strong vocals, it's an interesting choice to make. <laughs> Why do I want to sing along? <laughs>
nice introduction. He wrote this song, didn't he? Literally, I have chills. <laughs> I really, really love that bit. Even when I listen to the official track, I just really, I love the pronunciation, the lightness. It's sweet. It's just so nice. And then when you pair it with that, like, oh, it's just so well put together. Like, why? Why would you think that it's okay to put such a light voice with such a dark voice? For that precise reason, like, it just makes you feel so much. Like, right now, I am not understanding, like, word for word what it is that they're saying. But just with tricks like that, I feel it. I get it. Oh. <laughs> Literally, like the track. so pleased that there's a rap in this like I just think yeah it needed it it just sounds so good with it and that sort of a rap as well like it's really just spoken word and then the tempo picks up right towards the end it's building back up towards it's just so beautiful Oh, 
Such a beautiful song. To listen to that again, that was absolutely beautiful. And despite not being the original voice, don't even know what to say at this point I am just like blown away that these are live vocals that they are making me feel all of these things like this is really really intense and I thought that it would be but I didn't really think that I would like get into the flow of it you know that I'd get so lost in the music and like that just all of the changes that Ye Sang is making Wow, those ad libs, those changes in the ends. Oh. What a beautiful. 
beautiful high note that was. You can just really hear the experience in their voices and I think that's what's making me love them more that as great as these men would have been five ten years ago it's that experience in their voice and like I don't know how old these songs are um, maybe they sang this when they were in their early 20s who knows but like the the feeling that they're putting in behind it and how they're coming across as so mature and experienced and oh, I just love that so much I mean, look at him delivering those lines. You just wouldn't think that he'd be able to do that without straining. So I'm just looking at his neck the entire time and he is not straining. That's actually just what his voice sounds like. Like that is just amazing. Like if you wanted to put that on, you would be able to see visible straining there. Oh, that was so nice. It's that singing with a smile. not wrong that was just absolutely spectacular and I didn't think that it was going to get to me like that right because I'll tell you going into this one more chance was my favorite ballad the only ballad that I've heard from them and I really really liked it um coming out of that I would say that memories was is now my favorite I love that song it's just such a beautiful song the lyrics the meaning the way that it's been delivered however there was something about the way that stars appear was performed that just really got to me and I think it was the moment that she 
know, he he smiled through that, you know, like, and I feel like I love those sort of moments where you're happy, yet you're sad. And yeah, the way that that was performed was just amazing. about songs like this is that like at some point everybody sings together and I love that choral singing especially when you have a group that are just beautiful they are made up of individually really beautiful voices um and I think sometimes like I don't know whether it's in production but they underplay that fact that actually I really want to hear eight nine ten however many there are going to be in any one performance it seems to change depending on the year I go to um but I actually want to hear them all sing together like in chorus and it's just so powerful there is nothing like that feeling. So, like, I wish they would create more songs like that he changes so much when he raps in comparison to when he sings he's just got such like a solemn face when he sings brightens up when he raps. Such a good song. cannot decide within Hook whether I prefer his singing or his rapping. I just don't know. <laughs> I love it all. <laughs>
I think I didn't give these two songs the love that they deserved in my reaction. Honestly, listening to them more, I just appreciate them. They are just amazing. I love these two songs. And this is the exact reason why I picked SS6, SS7, because I know that various members are probably, I don't know, enlisted here, there, I don't know. So yeah, it's a nice mix of voices, live voices. And can I tell you how much I love this man's voice? Wow. So nice. Kangen? Please tell me they don't do a dance. Oh wait, who's in the hat? looking pretty cash, you know, like in shirts and trousers, and then we just go in here can like a runway look. What? <laughs> if they're being lifted up to that level, there will be no dancing. Damn. and his ad libs are so nice. Bumps, the power of those voices. above the music it's so clear I feel so empty, like so empty right
this is definitely one of those songs that you'd just listen to in the dark like full blast and just get lost in the moment of it all this is just so nice the fact that you can't really make out all of the words in what he's saying he's not purposely being clear is so nice it's kind of like muffled and it's like his voice is almost an instrument wow but I'm feeling that despair that loneliness that emptiness This is just not something that I expected to hear from him. I would just think that he would be a traditional ballad singer and that he would just be like super emotive. But this is just this is almost like dead, isn't it? That's that sort of a sound um, like, wow. <laughs> There is just no critiquing that there is just being lost in that moment i feel like i am in a trance that is one song that i will be listening to a lot and i think i replied to a comment on um, one of my other reactions for super junior saying that i actually i really am annoyed with myself that i heard inyuk and b that early on in my journey because i was just expecting there to be a build for me to listen to a few songs to kind of like them to be attracted to the sound and then to one day be hit in the face by something like b but actually like that just goes to show that there is no build with them I just feel like they are already at this level they are so polished they know who they are and uh, I just cannot believe that songs like this are out there and that I just haven't heard them before and voices like this are out there and I didn't know that they existed like I would very easily say that I put this song right next to B in like this is my taste this is a song that I will definitely be listening to a lot like what a journey I feel like I've been on in just those couple of songs that I've reacted to. Like, I'm sold, I'm there. Whatever it is that they have to say, whatever it is that they have to do, 
I am there, I am interested, I am invested, and I am listening. And the only reason that that is, is because they have shown that exact same level of commitment to us and to their musicianship. And yeah, it is just commendable, the breadth of stuff that I've been able to see already. And now I'm going to try and get into some sort of proper like schedule or like something like an idea like whether I work my way backwards from current music to previous whether I do album reactions I'm not really sure Um, or whether I don't do any at all I'm not sure I will need to think about it but your recommendations your comments your ideas how you feel about these songs any of the songs that I have reacted to here tell me about them Um, what are your favorite songs please do share Um, I do always read all of my comments and I try my best to respond. Thank you so much for joining me for that reaction. I hope that you enjoyed it. Please do subscribe to my channel for lots more content. Like the video if you liked it, of course. And until I see you next time, take care. Stay safe. Bye.